Welcome back to another Squarespace tutorial. My name is Danny, and I'm a Squarespace and Canva expert and the founder of Wondersouls Creative. So in today's video, I will be showing you how to create a coming soon page or under construction page. And this is actually perfect if you're about to build your website or you're just getting started, you know, and of course you don't want them to see the behind the scenes process, you know, or an unfinished website because it can get pretty messy when you're working on it. So let's get started with creating your coming soon page. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to design and then you're going to go to lock screen. And so this is the default lock screen that Squarespace provides to you, but you can definitely customize it, add some text, you know, change the banners. So that's what we're going to do right now. So first we're going to click on change layout. And so here you have different styles to choose from. So we're going to go for the last one, this one that has text, uh, three types of text, and then you're just going to click select and then click save. Now we can go back to lock screen and now let's start customizing it. It's super simple. So the first thing that I like to do is, you know, edit the branding and the text, of course. So we're going to click on that. And then here's where you can add your logo. I always recommend if you do have an image logo, go ahead and click that and then just upload your logo because it's going to look so much better. Perfect. And then we're going to style the banners and make the logo bigger. So now let's just continue with the headline here. You can add something like uh, coming soon. You can even add your date. And so here in body, we want to add, you know, a way for them to connect with us, even though the website is not ready, it's not up and running, you know, but we can add something like our email address or maybe our Instagram handle, you know, or come find me at, you know, your Facebook page, your Facebook group. So it's up to you. So here you would just change the text to something like. And so just make sure to add a link, just uh, highlight it. And then you're going to click right here and then just add a link. And so here you can always display the lock icon, but I prefer not to. So we're going to uncheck that and then we're going to click save. Now let's go back to the settings. So now we're going to change the banner. So click on media. And so here, the really cool thing about it is that you can also add videos. So, you know, a video adds more movement and it makes it just more dynamic and visually aesthetic, right? So here you would just, you know, add your YouTube link or even your Vimeo URL. But for now, we're just going to add some images. And so you can just select one, one banner image, or if you want them to be rotating, you can select two, three, four. I mean, it's up to you. So I'm going to do these two. Perfect. And now let's go back to now the settings to style them. And so here, of course, you can always change the fonts. And I truly recommend that you use your own brand fonts, you know, just to make it more cohesive. Um, so here you would add your fonts, the color of the fonts as well. So I'm just going to make them black. And so you can see that there's like an overlay. I'm just going to uncheck that because I don't like how it looks. And I'm going to make this color transparent and you do that just by sliding this all the way to the left, just like that. And this one as well. Perfect. And so here we have the password box. So, you know, if there's some people that you're collaborating with, you know, or you want to actually show your website to someone, you can always password protected. So I'm just going to edit this. I'm going to make this a rectangle and then just change it to actually, I think that looks great. And then you, uh, you can go ahead and change the font, of course, and the color as well. And so one last thing, if you want to make the logo bigger, you're just going to increase the size. So maybe instead of 60 pixels, I'm going to make it 100 pixels. And if that's not big enough, you can always, you know, just select this and then just delete it and add in your own number, maybe 250 pixels. Let's see how that looks. 
okay, that's too big. So I'm just gonna make it 150. Perfect, I love that. So now you're just gonna click save and there is your lock screen. And don't forget also to go back to settings and just make sure that you have your page to be password protected. So go back to settings again. And so here you're going to click on site availability and instead of private, we're going to select password protected and then just type in your password and click save. Perfect. And there's our coming soon page. And so it's branded, you know, it has our logo and then it also has this link that you can uh, redirect your visitors to for now. And then of course, if somebody wants to get into the website, they just type in the password and they're in. And so this is our peach template and it's one of the templates included in the no BS website method, which is our proven online course to DIY your own website in less than three weeks. It's honestly the easiest process ever because you get this website or any other website that you want completely installed to your Squarespace account so that you don't have to build a website from scratch. And so basically you just, you know, change the colors, change the text, the images, and just make it look cohesive to your brand. And so if you're interested, you can always check this out. And so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.